Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Tonight we're going to be talking about one of my favorite little tool sets that is going to be the Vera Tool Check Automotive that I have here. We're going to be talking about why I love it and then what are some alternatives if you don't want to pay Vera prices for your tiny little tool set. So let's get right into that on Tinker with Tools. All right, so today's video is going to be a little bit more low key than maybe what some of our previous videos have been. We're not going to be testing any power tools, but we are going to be talking about one of my favorite tools, this little set from Vera. This is the Toolcheck Automotive. They also have one very similar to it that is the Toolcheck Plus. And I really think it is one of the great little kits that you can have. As I've shown in previous videos, I have a go bag that I take with me, but even if you wanna go smaller than that typical tote that I've been carrying around, this will obviously fit into a lot smaller of a bag and will give you a lot of versatility in what it can handle. So tonight we're gonna to be talking about this in more depth and detail, but then we're gonna be talking about a few different budget-friendly alternatives and maybe some of the pros and cons of those and where they may fall short and if maybe some of them do exceed what this does offer you. All right, so now this is the Vera Tool Check Automotive. Now this one comes with 28 different quarter inch driver bits. Um, it does also come with this quarter inch bit driver. Included with this kit is the Vera Wrap Adapter, which is one of the better bit holders in my opinion. It is actually a locking bit holder. It does give you a little bit extra length, but you do not have to use it with the ratchet to be able to drive the bits. They will just load right in there. And then you also do get seven metric sockets that are going to kind of cover some of your more common sizes. This is metric only. You can buy this as well in SAE. When I purchased it, this was actually on sale for roughly $70. Um, if you were to buy it on Amazon right now, it's $82. If you were to buy some of the more expensive options, they might get up into the $95. Or if you're not getting them on sale, over $100. So I think that's the one downside to the Vera tool check is the price. It is certainly expensive, but they are incredibly nice tools. And so that's why I think I'm drawn to this one so much is just how compact it is, how well it holds everything, and yet it still does give you a lot of flexibility. There obviously are competitors out there. And so let's go ahead and talk about some of the different competitors that I've rounded up. We'll talk about what their pros and cons are. And then at the end of it, I will tell you which one I would buy if I were to do this all again. This is going to be this set from Duratech. It's the Duratech quarter inch mini ratchet wrench and screwdriver bit set. It does come with two sets in one. So let's just go ahead and show you one at a time. We'll start with this one. Uh, first off, the case on this, I don't view these cases as terribly durable. Um, if you drop this, I do imagine that it would break. I would not even expect it to necessarily stay closed if you dropped it. Now in this, you do get a nice variety of bits. You do get the quarter inch ratcheting bit driver, and then you also get a bit holder. Now this is just a magnetic bit holder. It is not a locking one like it is on the Vera. There are some quality defects in these. Um, I think it just kind of shows that it's manufactured to a price point. They, they do advertise that they're made of quality materials, but I will tell you that you know, between these and the Vera, they do not feel as nice or as premium. Now in the second set, you're getting a second mini ratchet. And this one does also have a little closed ended wrench on one side. I don't know why they included two different ones in this. You also then do have some SAE sockets. I don't know about the durability. I mentioned that the case doesn't seem that durable. This one is only available in SAE from what I can see. While I think this is a good budget alternative, I don't think you're going to get the same level of quality or ability ability that you're going to get with the Vera. And so for that reason, I can't really recommend this one. All right, our next contender is the GearWrench quarter inch drive micro driver and socket set. Uh, this one I actually got through Home Depot. Um, first off, the case on this one, it's not going to fall apart if you treat it well, but if you drop it, this front case will definitely break. There is nothing holding this stuff in besides gravity. Case quality is obviously what's suffering here when you're paying a lower price point. The quality of the product included in the case does seem relatively well made, but it's certainly not going to be as nice of a case. Now this one is quite a bit larger. This one is almost an inch and a half longer than the Vera. And so that is something of consideration when you're taking a look at this. With that size, you do get a double-sided ratchet. Now why double-sided, I'm not entirely sure, but I will tell you that this side does grip onto a quarter inch bit. If I want to use the sockets, I have to use this other side. It is labeled with a 5 16 bit for driver. And once I put that on there, 
it does have a quarter inch adapter on the end for sockets. So you do get five SAE and five metric here. All right, so after taking a look at the gear wrench, what are some of the pros and cons with this? Well, as I mentioned, the case, in my opinion, is a con. It is not going to hold things securely. The bits are gonna go everywhere if you drop this even one time. Now, the inclusion of a non-standard socket adapter, I think, is a very interesting choice. I don't know why they couldn't just have a quarter inch like the other kits that we're gonna show you today do because then you would have something that would be able to work even if you lost this tiny little bit. You're then going to have to use the quarter inch side and then that just kind of makes me wonder why did they include one that is double sided to begin with. So a little bit of an odd choice, but in terms of quality of the ratchet, I do think it works well. I think the kit is well thought out in terms of how much you get in it and the price point is tough to beat. I just think you may find yourself putting it into a bag of sorts or a different kit to maybe protect it a little bit more. All right, next up, we are gonna be talking about one of the Vera competitors, Weeha, however you wanna say that. And this is a kit I actually picked up from Lowe's. Now this kit, this little case is made of metal. Um, I do think it would withstand a lot of torture and abuse with that. Um, this one comes in right around $30. I'll have that price on the screen for you. And what you're getting in here is just a bit driver, so a ratcheting bit driver. If I'm talking about which one feels the most well-made, this one might take the cake. It has some heft to the handle, nice selector, good action. It's a really nice bit driver. One of the nice things that you're getting here is you are getting Weeha Terminator bits, uh, the ones that they sell at Lowe's. And these bits are my absolute favorite. What you're noticing is in terms of how it compares to the Vera, you are missing the sockets. And so that's where if this thing were $60, $70, I would say that this is a ripoff. But at its price point of $30, um, it's actually competing down at the lower end with some of these budget options. And so I'm willing to overlook some of its flaws, I think, and maybe accept a little bit of deficiencies from it, knowing that I can make up for some of those. If I were just to go and get myself quarter inch sockets like this one from Makita and pair with this, um, I actually got these I think for $9.99 um, during the holidays one time. Now I'm at $40 and I have everything that came with the Vera for that $40 price point. So in terms of what I get here, that is pretty nice. Now I can even double up and I can add a second rail of socket and now I'm only at maybe 50 some odd dollars. I really do like this. The downsides to it is that you kind of have to piece it together yourself. Um, you'll see me use these sockets a couple of different times as we talk about different kits. But this kit uh, for the price, I really think is a great set and something you should look into. All right, when I mentioned the gear wrench being the cheapest one that I had purchased to that point. But I have since acquired this little one from Klein. Uh, it's cheaper because there's very little to it. It's not in any sort of case. But I will tell you that this little ratchet has some things going for it that allow me to kind of overlook its flaws. It is just a quarter inch bit driver on this side and they do give you four bits. Two Phillips, two straight blade. They just fit in there like normal and then it is just a ratchet. Now on this other side, you do get a 5 16 nut driver. It, it doesn't really feel like a replacement for the Vera in that I'm not getting all the functionality that I like, but this is a very nice ratchet to use. And something that I found is actually having kind of this keyhole or finger hole on the end offers a great deal of torque and nice comfort of use. I almost like to pair this with most of these other kits, it's not that much longer. It is maybe uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch longer, but you get just a ton of extra torque in my opinion with that, being able to get all the way out to the end and put a lot of leverage and have very nice grip on it. So even though I don't really think that this is a true replacement for it, even if you kit it out with other things, I do think this is a really nice ratchet. If you already have a bit set and a socket set that you like and you just want to add the quarter inch ratchet, uh, this is probably the one I'd recommend going with, especially for the price and just how nice it is to use. And now we're going to talk about the final one. I really think Icon hit it out of the park with this kit. This is not the cheapest one we've talked about. This comes in around $45. I'll have the actual price up on the screen. Now, first thing we're gonna talk about is the case. I have no doubt that this case is going to be able to survive the abuse I'm gonna throw at it and possibly the abuse you're gonna throw at it. So to open it up, it just has a simple little slide lock here 
and then you're presented with what's in the kit. Now, as you can see, there are no sockets here. So keep in mind when we start talking about sockets, I'm probably gonna mention something like this. I'm sure Harbor Freight would sell you something as well that would be a nice little rail of sockets, but you are getting stuff with this one that you don't get anywhere else. It is a locking flex head. So when you put it in the position, it's going to stay in that position and not deviate from it. Now you'll notice down here on the end, it actually does have a place for a quarter inch bit down here as well, but something that this offers that no other set does to this size is also this extension. Now this extension works in a couple of different ways. First off, you can just go ahead and pop it into the ratchet and now you do have nice reach on your ratchet. But if you'll notice, I'll try and get a close up of it, there's these dashed lines on one side and a little bit of a notch. And if you line that up with the white dot on there. Now you have a T-handle that's going to give you really good torque and fastening ability on that and the bits will go in there. But there's even more that this can do. It obviously can go in there and now you have an even longer setup. As always, you can just go ahead and pop a bit in the end there and now you have a really long reach, almost screwdriver, that you're probably going to be able to do a decent amount of work with there. Already, this wins the award for most versatility in just the ratcheting setup. This one is worth the price in my opinion, and probably is the one that I could see myself recommending over the Vera in terms of the flexibility and the quality that I feel like you're getting here. Once again, this one is just coming in at over $40 with my two Makita socket sets here. I now have greater flexibility than what I have in that tool check automotive. And so when it comes down to it, I really think that this is going to be one of the ones that is hard to beat, especially since it's coming in with better pricing than my beloved tool check automotive. All right, so when it comes down to it, there is a lot to consider here. When it comes to which of these kits I would recommend, the Duratec gets a non-recommendation for me because of some of the quality issues. Maybe the best budget friendly option is going to be the gear wrench. And then when you start talking about which one I like more out of the Weha and the Icon, I think the Icon takes the cake and it is one that I will probably even consider carrying over this. The Weha is not a bad kit and it really offers roughly the same stuff that you're getting from here, except for when it comes to the ratchet. If you were going to be picking one of these up, which one would you choose and why? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to get your opinion on this. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. I appreciate all the support. Thank you for all you do. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I will catch you on Tinker with Tools.